How's your Sunday fun day going? Wait one minute and then we'll talk. Okay. He's like, I'm getting all of this girl. Hey guys, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. We are going to get right into it today because we are here with the one and only. Now, I always say this because I mess up names, but I think I have it. Yovana Montplacier. Oh, yes. Good job. You really? Right. Yeah. <laughs> from our, well, most people know you from this season, particularly on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So how uh -oh. are you? I am a fantastic. Uh, how about yourself? You seem like wide and awake today. I mean, I know it's two o'clock. I'm still on my coffee. Oh my gosh. No, I woke up an hour ago. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh. Like I had a long night. I did a live, had a couple of glasses of wine, you know, so yeah. I saw a part of your life. I came in, I don't know what time it started, but I was like, oh, I'm chatting with her tomorrow. I should probably watch this. But I came in, I think like towards the end. Okay, so I don't know what you missed, what you heard, but um, it we're, was pretty we're, juicy. We're going to say it all on here, because I feel like most people listening to this may not have seen it, but I saw you okay. having the wine. What were you drinking, Rosé? I was drinking, um, I think it was, uh, what was it? What did I have? It, it wasn't Rosé. Um, I think like it, was, it. it was like a Riesling, I think. It no, it was, it, was, it was a Zinfandel. It was a Zinfandel. Oh. Yes. And I heard your music in the background and I was having nothing <laughs> as exciting. <laughs> yes, we were doing uh, music and cocktails. It was fun. It was fun since we're under quarantine. We've got to, you know, figure out the most innovative ways to still connect with each other and feel like we're out, but not necessarily. What have you been doing for all of quarantine? Like, oh my gosh, David, when I tell you I have been cooking, I have been cleaning things that I never do. So my husband is like all for it. And there he goes. Okay, okay. He's going to the store. Um, so yeah, he's like, uh, we need to be quarantined more often if this, if this is going to get you in the kitchen. I'm like, okay, don't get used to this. Don't get used to this. <laughs> I don't know how to cook. So I am, I give you kudos, but you look like you had a nice kitchen. Like I'm in New York. There's no kitchen. Uh -huh. for you. You, <laughs> yeah, you but look my like sister, you had a nice kitchen. Yeah, thank you. My sister lives in San Francisco. So it's kind of the same story. Everything's like just super compacted. So yeah, no, it's normally just there I, like i said I, I can't really cook like that you know i, I do like minimal things so it's, it's there for looks that's good <laughs> and he's i mean are you enjoy like are you making the most of your quarantine or are you just like get me the hell out of here oh my gosh we've been getting a lot of rest um spending a lot of quality time with our six dogs um but yeah no we're just you know taking it in strides and um, you know, looking forward to when we can get out though, because at the end of the day, I mean, there's only so much, um, him and I can take of each other. Luckily he has his man cave. So, uh, we do have moments where he can go to his side of the house and then go to my side of the house, but yeah. See, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I've, my apartment has never been as organized and clean as it is now. And I'm just, there's, not, there's nothing else I can do. Like I can't rearrange the same things again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're, we're in place. <laughs> There's yeah, nothing else to touch. <laughs> that's how I feel. So yeah. tell me, start at the beginning. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, where are you from? Where'd you grow up? I like to know these things. Sure. So I, well, I'm a military brat. So I, I kind of grew up all over the place, but I was born in San Francisco. Uh, my mom is from Costa Rica. And uh, because of my dad's military background, you know, once he was retired, he's like, all right, well, let's just move the whole family to Costa Rica. And so uh, me and my mom, my dad and the rest of my my siblings, my three sisters, we moved to Costa Rica for about uh, eight years. So that's how I became fluent in Spanish. And then we uh, located to Georgia because we, we've actually lived all over the country. We lived in Missouri. We lived in Arkansas. But the reason we got to Georgia is because I wanted to go to college here. And uh, it was crazy because when we were living in Arkansas, um, you know, I told my mom, I'm like, this, why are we here? This is like not the place to be. And they were like, well, how about you girls write us an, an essay? All of you write us an essay and tell us where you'd want to move and why. And out of my four sisters, I was the one who won because I spoke about HBCUs. I talked about Spellman Clark and how there was a lot of, um, you know, black wealth in the South. And I felt that that would be a, a place that I could thrive as a young adult. And so because my essay won is why my entire family moved to Georgia and the rest is history. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's like a diplomatic way to do it, right? 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, I was what 15 at the time. I was like, no, nah, um, we going to Atlanta. <laughs> and you just you love it. Leave love Atlanta ever since. Oh my gosh, I never left. Um, after I graduated, you know, I, I had. Uh, contemplated going uh, back to San Francisco. But then when uh, my sister, she had sent me an article in the San Francisco Times, it said, if you weren't earning more than like, I don't know, it was like 150 grand a year, you were considered in poverty. And she was like, girl, this you do not want to come back here. And I was like, you know what? I think I'll stay in Georgia because I need this big old massive house for practically nothing. If I went to Ca California, it wouldn't be the same. So Yeah, it's a lot different than California or New York. That is for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. And then... So what, tell everyone what you do like in your daily life. Like I was reading about like Stop the Traffic Global, like talk to us about that. Yes. Yeah, so my husband and I, we um, run a few consulting firms uh, here in Atlanta. Um, we are in the telecommunications industry. Uh, I have a boutique, uh, Mon Plaisir by Yovana, and of course my foundation, Stop the Traffic Global, uh, which was initiated in order to bring uh, more awareness to the human sex trafficking epidemic here in uh, our city and in our country. So I, I do a lot of things. I wear a lot of hats. How's your boutique? Like it's what type of, is it clothing? What's an online boutique? Um, oh, a lot God. of like signature pieces, um, hats, accessories, uh, things for the working girl, things for the girl that likes to go out after five. So um, my pieces are really, really fun and they express uh, my personality. That's nice. Yeah. Now, so being a total typical Atlanta girl, Taking it way back to the beginning, like when they were casting Real Housewives of Atlanta, like way back in season one, like was there a buzz around town? Like were people like, oh my God, they're bringing in housewives here? Like, did you know anyone for that first season, like as they were casting? You know what's crazy about this? Um, I never watched the show. I, I've never been a TV person. The only thing I ever watched was the news. And so around that time, I mean, what year was that? What year was that? Well, that's a really 2008, maybe. This is what happens. I like drink a lot of vodka. So <laughs> the years, when you get into like details with me, oh right? Like I, mean, I yeah. remember the big picture things in life. But when it's like, I, 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 I have friends that could be like, that happened in season six. And that I'm like, what? Like, see? Yeah, no, I think it was, I think 2008. At that time, I was what, 24 years old. That's when I first met my, my husband. He was my boyfriend at that time. So um, I didn't, I didn't even know about the show. I didn't really start knowing about Housewives of Atlanta probably until maybe 2011, 12 ish. So yeah, no, uh, I, I wouldn't have known those women because I mean, the age gap was significantly different. I think most of them at that time, they came on at what, maybe four, 38, 39, 40, yeah. I don't know. But I just, I was too young at that point. So I don't think they were casting women in, in that age range. No, that would be a different show, if anything. <laughs> yeah. um, it would not be Housewives, that is for sure. <laughs> for sure. And then, so prior, so season 11 is when you were first on the show mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. And then when, so like, when did you know any of these girls before that, like seasons one through 10? Like, did you kind of travel in the same circles? Like, did you run into them? Is Atlanta yeah. really that small? And you know what's crazy? Because I remember when I did um, my, my first, when, when I did the scene at the uh, the winery and Candy, her and I were talking and she was like, how long have you lived in Atlanta? Why have we never met? I was like, I don't know. Um, but the one, the women that I, that I, that I had ran it and well, I won't say that we ran in the same circle, but I had acquaintances, uh, Portia, because of the music videos that we did when we were younger. Um, of course, the Eva situation, we went to the same exact college. Um, let's see here. Kenya, interesting fact. She, um, uh, Matt, the guy she used to date, that is my um, brother-in-law's uncle. Um, so, like I said, that was kind of a little, you know, he, he did some work in her home. And who else? And then Nini, I actually was introduced to her um, by Bravo when we um, filmed at her boutique. So, yeah but there wasn't anyone else on that cast that I had ever met prior to, to that. And how were you introduced to Nina? Like through Bravo or like you were just at the filming at the boutique? Like how did that start? Yeah. So um, Bravo, obviously, you know, once they reached out to me, they, they tested um, in my home. 
and they were here for, for, for the entire day. After that, they were like, okay, cool. So we're now going to, you know, do a scene with you, uh, Nini and Portia, and we're going to see how you guys vibe. And so that scene was at her um, swag location in Duluth. And after we did that scene, that's when I was later invited to the winery where we had the infamous scene. And then there you go. Interesting. So let's talk about that scene at Nini's Boobs and Bourbon. It's kind of our true introduction to you. <laughs> yes. So you were brought by Nini, like you were kind of Nini's friend, quote unquote. And then you and Eva went to, I mean, this is going back a season, but you know, for everyone listening who doesn't know the history. So then you were, you recognized Eva because you went to college together and she uh -huh. asked, like she didn't know you and said, nice to meet you. <laughs> that is a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> yes. And it got under my skin. I think the only reason it got to me as much as it did is because I was drinking and that entire day I hadn't eaten anything and I was taking shot after shot, wine glass after wine glass. And by the time that moment happened, because my intention, you know, Nini was like, now look girl, I know that you say, you know, Eva and you know, she might not, you know, uh, feel the same, but well, at this, at this event, it's going to be organic. We're going to get to know each other. We're not going to do any drama. And I was like, yeah, I, 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 I don't plan to say anything. Um, and so when I got to the table, I realized that they were sitting at like our placemats where they had my name and her name right there. I'm like, oh my gosh, now they're putting her right next to me. Um, and so when she came in, like you said, and she was like, hi, I'm Eva. Nice to meet you. And I was like, bitch, girl, you know you're not married. And so I think that's what set it off because I was expecting her to be like, hey, girl, good to see you again or something like that. But um, that's how things started. Well, don't ever meet Ramona Singer, a.k.a. the Singer Stinger <laughs> from the Real Housewives of New York City, because I've met her 9,000 times. And she knows who I am, and she acts like she doesn't know me. She doesn't so. know. See, okay, now, see, that's shady. That's shady. Right? After like at least five, six times, you she know who you are, David. Yeah. She know you. I, kind of. I mean, I even had to ask another housewife, Sonia Morgan, and be like, and Sonia's like, she totally knows who you are. And I'm like, I I'm like starting to think I'm the crazy one. I'm like, <laughs> did I not meet her? Like, I mean, and I'm like, what? It's okay. You shouldn't even have to say it anymore at this point. Like I said, she knows, she knows, she knows who you are. Yeah, now I'm over it. I'm like, <laughs> kind of like you. I'm like, bitch, you're going to have to come over here. <laughs> Follow me. And I'm not so sure I want to talk to you. FYI. Exactly. Right. You know, that's mm -hmm. where we are. But now, okay, so then you said, and I just want to know what this means. Not This is not shade. I'd like to know. You said, I was that bitch. I was Yuvana from Clark. So I want to know what that <laughs> bitch means. Because I'd like to know that. <laughs> I, I, I was saying I was that bitch because everybody on that campus knew who I was. I couldn't walk by anywhere without anybody being like, hey, girl, because I used to do music videos at that time. And okay. so everyone knew me as the video girl on campus. And so, like, that bitch is, like, it was just, like, I didn't need to reintroduce myself. Like, when you walk in a room and all eyes are on you and everybody knows who you are, that means you're that bitch. I was that bitch. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to yes, use it. Yes, you can steal it. Thank you. And uh -huh. then that was that season. And, you know, that was uh -huh. that. And now yeah. this season. So let's let's get into this season. And then we'll talk more about you. This isn't just about the drama. But let's just, okay. you know, let's sure. just hash it out for all the listeners that haven't heard you say anything anywhere else. I like to pretend no one's heard anything anywhere else. Because I think a lot of people have it. Okay. So, this season, you were brought back what? Like, how? So this season, well, you know, what's, what's crazy is um, I started off the season in a good space with all of the women. Um, we Even were Eva? genuinely, um, you know what? Eva and I actually made up last season at Cynthia Bailey's um, wine cooler launch. We hugged it out. We were like, girl, you know, we, we share a friend, like, our friend thinks that we would make the best of friends if we actually just spent time with each other. And it was a real genuine moment. Uh, Bravo never showed that, but yeah, that happened, like I said, last year. So yeah, I was cool with Eva, was spending time outside of filming with the ladies, Candy, Cynthia. I uh, was hanging out with Shami with um, uh, Sh 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 Shamari. Um, I was talking to all the girls, we were in a good space. And so um, the girls were inviting me to the stuff that they were having. So, um, 
I guess, you know, it's important for the girls to have some type of a connection with you as well. And yeah. I had established that. So that was the reason that I believe that I was brought back um, the, se the second time around. And, okay. And then what about, because there is this all this chatter <laughs> that like you were brought in for those reasons, but also... Nini kind of didn't want to film with anyone. No one wanted to film with her. You were kind of like brought in as like, I mean, did Nini like drag you in? Like, did Nini want you there? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that was one of the other reasons as well. I know in the beginning, um, a lot of people, you know, they were in that, they weren't in the best space with her following how the reunion ended. And so, yeah, they weren't, they weren't trying to film. So um, I was me and her you know we're cool we had um every reason in the world to to film scenes together so yeah in the beginning she definitely was uh making sure that i was in scenes with her for sure and like did she go as far as to be like please come on i don't want to film with these people like was it that blatant Absolutely. you know like i've got nobody except you i mean she didn't use those words but she was what, what you said in the beginning yeah come on uh I'm bringing you on camera. And there were statements made that I'm not going to do this scene unless Yovana is there. Absolutely. Yes, that happened. And did she ever go so far as to say, like, remember, I brought you here. You're my ally. You back me up no matter what. Like, was it that strong, for lack of a better word? I would say that. I, I, I could agree with that. See, I'm asking all the questions here today. These are the questions <laughs> that, you know... <laughs> I feel like there's just so much said, like, you know, unless it's coming from your mouth, like I I'm somebody that I don't believe anything unless I hear it directly from you. Mm -hmm. That's just me. Yes. And that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you're just, you're just saying what a lot of people have been thinking anyways. And it just, um, no one's ever asked me until now. So. I mean, that's how it seemed to me, you know, mm -hmm. because that's kind of where we started the season really with nobody wanting to film a Nini and I just based on other people that have come on, I could see that that's what Nini has done. Like if she brings you there, mm -hmm. like you're my yeah, person. yeah, absolutely, um, yeah, for sure. I, I I mean I didn't just pop up. I didn't chase a camera. Uh, contrary belief. I didn't ask uh, anyone. I didn't make a call. Uh, you guys called me. You asked me, and so I was there. Right. Bravo. Yeah, late, and... late, late, yeah, lately I'm, I'm hearing through subliminals that I'm thirsty to be on camera or that I'm chasing cameras around and all these things. I'm like, what? That ain't how it happens. <laughs> I was going to get into that later, but we might as well get into that now, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, right. no, because that's right. Like, that's what people say online. Mind you, people say that about a lot of people that aren't, that don't have a peach. Right. Yeah, they're saying like you're a fame whore. You chase the cameras. You wanted to come on, purposely mm -hmm. started drama. Right, exactly. And it's crazy because I had no reason to start drama with anybody. I was in a good space with everybody. Why would I want to like sabotage that? You know. Right. I I I, I came on with the intention to. Um, I, I saw that the, the treatment that she was getting, and I, and I wanted to be there for her, and I wanted to support her, and so that's why I was there. It was about supporting a friend at the end of the day. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so now let's get to, we go to Toronto. Mm -hmm. And we have, I mean, let's just deal with the snake in the room. So we, I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying that's you. I'm just saying this big thing, which okay. is now blown out of proportion. Mm -hmm. And mind you, I'm, I've watched the season and I'm completely confused. So I... <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm the only one that's confused. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. you guys go to Toronto, right? And now we have Snake Gate. We all know that like Cynthia and Nini are not getting along, which mm -hmm. really is neither here nor there, as far as you're concerned. That has nothing to do with you. And mm -hmm. now we have this whole thing of like Snake Gate and Cynthia is. And everyone starts saying that there's this recording or mm -hmm. audio of Cynthia talking bad about Nini, and then like the names that are thrown around are like Marlo, Tanya. And your mm -hmm. name keeps getting thrown around as mm -hmm. the snake. So mm -hmm. how do you think, like, how did, how are you involved? You know what I mean? Like, why is your name being thrown out? Like, that's what I don't understand to begin with. 
Well, but as I've said before, you know, I'm the easy target, clearly. You know, I'm the new girl in the circle. Um, I think that that storyline took that wind because of how I started when I came into the season saying that I had receipts, uh, you know, and, I, and I've never uh, doubted and, and told people that I didn't that I did not not have a conversation with Cynthia. Yes, her and I talked. Yes, she talked trash. So I ran back and gave that information. So um, that that information that was given was taken, twisted, and turned into that. And I don't want to get too deep in that because the, the truth of that entire situation, David, I, 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 I plan on coming forward with uh, very, very soon because it's time to give clarity to that entire situation. Um, I'm tired of getting the short end of the stick um, with this. And so America has really only gotten the chance to hear uh, one side and um, it's not fair. So very soon I will be divulging. Notice that my mouth is dropping off. And where are you going to be divulging this information? <laughs> is it going to be at the Bravo reunion? Is it? Y'all will have to keep watching. You guys know what wow. I'm Just keep Seriously. watching. Seriously. Well, anytime you want to come, I mean, we're not even done, but anytime you want to come back <laughs> behind the velvet row, if you'd like to exclusively ever do anything here, you're, you're <laughs> he's like, find me, call me. Seriously. <laughs> no, okay. I mean, that's a valid point. I mean, listen, I feel this way with a lot of the, I don't even know what the right word is, but like, it's not even on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like the same thing is happening on Shaw's now. It's like when there's someone who's not a main character, it's almost like you're not on the equal playing field to ever really tell your story because like you don't have a peach. Like on Shaw's, mm -hmm. there's some other mm -hmm. people that are like in the middle that are not cast members. Mm -hmm. I think like when you're not a cast member, no matter what show it is, it's an un it's a strange dynamic of you ever mm -hmm. being able to tell your story, right? Yeah, and that's why I I always say I'm like I'm so grateful for social media now because could you imagine, you know, years ago when people yeah. couldn't come on their social media to say no, this is the truth. So I have a platform now, whether I am at the reunion or not, my story will be told, David. I I the I truth, agree. the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Well, wherever that is, you DM me because I will be there. <laughs> if it's not here, I will be there listening. <laughs> but that's the thing, too. You know, like you take like a network like Bravo. Mm -hmm. Right. Like if it's they have their own. I don't even know if agenda is the right word of how a season's going to play out. And yeah. Yeah. And if their mind is made, their mind is made. And that's what it's going to be. But at the end of the day, I'm still a person. And like I oh, said, boy. there's always two sides to a story. And um, at the end of the day, you know, I have a reputation. I have businesses. I have things that I'm going on. I, I mean, I, I, it's important that people just know the real instead of, you know, the storyline or that, that, that's been thrown out there. Um, I, I just don't want people to feel that they can uh, write my story for me. That makes sense. You know? I would... I would feel the same way, honestly, you know? Yeah. And then, like, at least you spoke your truth and you know what your truth is. Yes. And at that point, there's nothing you can do. If people yeah. aren't, it, it is what it is. Yeah, and that's all I want, an opportunity to give my truth. And, yeah. And is your truth that you're saying that you are not the snake? I'm not saying I think you are. I'm just asking. <laughs> and I have said this before, the snake, when you think about the snake, the snake is a lot of the women on that show based off the way they treat each other, the way they talk to each other. Like those are all snake like behavior. So no, totally. I'm not no snake. And then do you think an audio actually exists? Like just in your opinion? Cause no. that's the whole other. Absolutely not. I mean, I think that, I think that, I mean, this is where I get confused. I think that's what Nini was trying to say at some point, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Like, I got confused. I don't understand when they were saying there's receipts, but there's no audio. I mean, I guess that's the point. Yeah. I mean, you can have receipts um, and it doesn't, oh goodness, that's what happened when I left that door open. Um, you can have receipts and it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a recording or an audio. Receipts is just, could be just proof that I had the conversation. It could just be my word alone. So totally. uh, those words never came out of my mouth ever. You guys never heard me say that. So that's true.
And then would you like to set the record straight about the whole Canada and you left and then there was this implication? Uh, I, I know. And I know you've said it before, but uh-huh. just for anyone who hasn't heard it, <laughs> because there's this whole like you got kicked out of the trip. and we're That is home. not what happened. No. So it's crazy. Like I said, this is what you call editing 101. No, when mm. I left the hotel, Nini was right behind me in tote with her bags as well. We got into the same car service, <laughs> went to the airport at the same exact time, and flew back to Atlanta. Well, I flew back to Atlanta. She flew somewhere else. But her, myself, and Eva, we all left Canada that day. But you just happened to take the camera and just film me walking out the door to make it look like you know I was being outed. And this is the other thing I want to clear up, David. Yeah. I made the decision. I told the producers I was no longer comfortable. Um, and if my girl Nini was leaving, I was definitely going to leave. There was no reason for me to stay because I didn't really have any close friends that had my back. And so I was like, I want to leave too. So my safety's at risk. So I, w- I want to get on the first thing smoking back to Atlanta. And they changed my, my itinerary and they brought me back to Atlanta. So that was my decision. No one else's. So I wanted to clear that up. So I'm glad you asked me that question. I talked about that last night on my live. But yeah. I saw you talking about that a little bit too. Yeah. And then I saw you drinking and then <laughs> the other guy, I was like, I didn't understand. This what is why I brought water. I'm like, let me not do David's interview like that. I, w- I need to be chill with him. No, no. <laughs> I wish you were drinking. Nothing is better. <laughs> well, last night I actually talked very late to Perez Hilton and that will come out another time. And okay. we were both drinking. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like drinking at my own interview. So anytime you want to drink on an interview with me, I okay. feel Oh, you should have said something. Shoot, I would have went maybe a glass of wine. I was like, (laughs) you know. No, I I, I saw you say that. And that's the thing, right? Because they definitely edited it to make it seem like you were... You were yeah. asked to leave, but you left on your own account. And I mean, the fact that you shared a car with Nini and Eva, I mean, nobody. Well, knew. not with Eva. Eva okay. left a little bit earlier. But yeah, I shared a car service with Nini to the airport. <laughs> they didn't right. show all that. But you know, it's yeah. weird just because they, they took the cameras and they followed her and I to the car, getting in the car and all that. But they didn't play that. So maybe, like I said, to, to make it look more salacious. So <laughs> Definitely to make it look more salacious. And yeah. then... During this whole hotel confrontation and snake gate, like, who do you feel like was coming at you the hardest? Like, who was like the main culprit of like, like, or, or, or two people, like, who really did you feel wronged by or like kind of thrown under the bus by out of everyone there? Um, well, you know, it all happened so fast and um, it started to just get more and more intense. I feel like um, Portia, of course, obviously she's the one that like uh, took it there. Um, Kenya a little bit um, for sure. But yeah, no, mainly Portia. Uh, I think it was because it stemmed from when we were at the uh, at the rooftop and it started there and she just kept going and going and going. I'm like, look, there's only so many times that you can poke me before I, I like, I'll let you have it. So um, yeah. And Portia's not usually the one that that really riles people up the most. It's usually Kenya. Right. Yeah, no, I, I, I think that maybe the producers were pushing her, you know, pushing her to, to try to, you know, get under my skin, but I held my own. You did. And then did you film more? Cause this is the other thing, like I'm not sure about that I've read somewhere. Like, did you film a lot more of this season that's just now not going to be shown? I did film after Canada with them and um, it hasn't, sh- it hasn't been shown. So um, I don't know if it'll be used or not, but um, it should because it was me giving clarity on that whole situation in Canada. I don't know why it's not being used because the audience needs to see that. It's like, why wouldn't you let them see, like we, we, we had an entire scene, myself, Cynthia and Candy talking about it. Uh, and then another scene with all of the girls. Really? And yes. It's uh, so I just it just makes no sense to me unless they want to continue to try to control the narrative of me just looking crazy as hell. Um, but yeah, there's 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 so much more that you guys haven't seen. Uh, so there was right. So there's an actual scene with you, Cynthia, Candy, and then you and all the girls talking mm-hmm. about this very situation. Yeah, talking about after what happened in Canada. Uh huh. And do you think like? it should have been seen already just like based on, you know what I mean? Like, I know you're not in the editing room, but like based on the timing of things, like have they shown other scenes that are 
past that? Does that make any sense? Um, not, that, not that you I, would necessarily know. Well, I mean, I feel like it could still kind of be work. It, it could be worked in um, because it could be like, you know, us finally coming back together, having a conversation after all of that. And it's some, some time has passed. Maybe. Um, who knows? I, and, I think there's only, what, two more episodes left. So, hey, if it ain't coming on today or next week, then it ain't happening. Yeah, that's kind of. And if it isn't. Right. And if it isn't shown at all, then where do you think that comes from? Is it the producers wanting to show you a certain way or is for it sure. you think? For sure. For sure. Absolutely. Because um, my explanation to the group um, is probably not the explanation that they wanted. Uh, they wanted it to take another wind. And because it didn't, it's like, okay, well, then never mind. We're not going to use that. But I could be speaking prematurely as well, because like I said, there's still two more. So. I don't know. And would you like to elaborate on how they would like, how would they have liked it to play out versus your conversations on air? This dang fly. Um, I can't even see it. It's all in my face. Oh, really? Um, yeah, we had the door open. We were um, letting the dogs out, so it got in. Um, I think I'm going to plead the fifth on that one, David. Normally I don't. But I think on that question, not now, not I'm not saying that I want to answer it later, but not in this moment right now. That makes sense. That's fair. Okay. And what did I want to ask you? Okay. And then to follow up on that question, not that question, the question before about the producers, do you think if it's not shown, it is just a producer thing? Or do you think it is like a... Do you think the cast members, certain cast members were involved? And I don't know what happened, but like, mm -hmm. so I have no one in mind, but do you think yeah. certain cast members were like, don't fucking show that? No, absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It would definitely be a producer thing. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Because when we had the conversation, I mean, it, it, it ended, it ended on a good note. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Hugs, all that. Right. It would be so strange if they don't show it. Because, like, to your point, this whole thing has been one of the main, like, themes of the whole damn season. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, time will tell. So, hold that thought, because we will chat again about that. Okay. And, I, and I'm happy to say whatever at that point. Because that's what I've been saying all season. Like, if Snake Gate is not resolved... Somehow, then uh, the whole thing is so strange to me. Like, yeah. what was the point of all that drama? I agree. I agree. I mean, especially if you're saying now there's scenes that could pretty much resolve it. So we will come mm -hmm. back to this in the future. Okay. Back to announce <laughs> it somewhere. So <laughs> what is your, so now what is your, like, what is your relationship today with Nini? Like, is it, where is, does that stand? You know, there's a question mark there uh, that wasn't there a couple weeks ago. Um, and I talked about this on my live last night. You know, yeah. the type of person, I don't I don't I don't I don't do the subliminal thing. You know, if you're my friend, if you're my homegirl and you have an issue or a concern, you pick up the phone and you call me. We talk about it. And um, that hasn't happened. It's just stuff. It's, it's like online stuff that I'm having to hear. And you've got your friends, you know, going online, attacking me, saying crazy things to me. It's like, what? So there's a like, what have they there. said? Like, what have they said? Some of these people just the stuff we talked about earlier about uh, chasing the camera and stuff like that. And um, whose side am I on? Um, I can get red. Like, just, it's just, I'm like, you know, and this is, and this is your really close friend. And so you know that this person is saying this, why aren't you stopping it? Or why yeah. are you calling me and saying, you know, it's just weird. It's, it's really, really weird. And I, I, I think that the energy has shifted um, because I'm cool with Eva now. And I, I and she obviously her, they have, they have an issue right now. So she said on her um, on one of her lives uh, a couple of days ago, and this is where I, I feel I was being, um, she, she was implying, it didn't say my name, but she said, um, um, don't be mad just because I don't want to be friends with you because you're, you know, messing with somebody that I don't fuck with. And I'm like, 
well, who else could she be talking to? So I took that as you're, you have an issue with me being cool with Eva. Interesting. You're right. So now you and Eva are totally cool, which is that scene producers didn't show. And since then, you guys are cool. And Nina and, Nina and yeah. Eva aren't. Right. Interesting. And then when is the last time you talked to Nini? Like, just, was it, like, during the season? Like, as the show played out? She claimed she butt-dialed me the other day, which I find very ironic. I called her back, and she was like, I butt-dialed you. And this is during, like, this whole pandemic. It's like, you could have texted, like, okay, but how you doing, girl? You all right? You know, you, nothing, nothing. So, um, before that, it was probably, like, two weeks ago. Okay. So, yeah, like, as... Weird. Yeah, I mean, like, real friends, especially during the pandemic, are calling you all the time. Yeah. And real friends, you know, when your dad passes away, they reach out to you. They call you, they send flowers, they text, they say something. They don't act like they don't know. You know, a lot of women from even other casts um, reached out when my dad passed away. Never nothing. I'm like, it just, I've, I've, I've started to question our friendship over the past couple of months. It's just, and I'm about to get emotional because, um, like, I, I really value friendships and like, I don't know how to be fake with that kind of stuff. And, you know, I just, I feel like I've been used. And I didn't even, I don't even, oh my gosh, I don't even know why I'm crying, David. It's okay to cry. It's, it's, just pick up the phone. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's some, something's going on. Something's going on. Because I can feel, I can tell. I wouldn't be crying if there weren't something, you know? Yeah, I do know. I mean, I've seen this not even just with Atlanta. I've seen this a lot of times with a lot of franchises. Like, when you say you feel used, like, do you feel used like what? Like, Nini used you for the show? Yeah, yeah. I feel like she just, you know, played friendly with me just to get what she wanted. Um, as soon as she got back in cool with the rest of the girls, it was like she hung me out to dry. It's like I didn't matter anymore. Like you can tell, like the tone of the conversation started, to, everything's just different. But it's like, that wasn't the energy you had at the beginning of the season. But hey, when she so. needed you, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry that happened. It's okay. I mean, it's just, like I said, I just need to, in, in, this, in this situation, I just need to be able to clearly separate the two. Um, we're either going to be TV friends or we're, we're, we're going to be real friends. And I just thought we were real friends because I'd been su super supportive um, with a lot of her things over the past a couple of years, you know, even flew to Maryland for her grand opening. Um, I, anything that she's asked me to be a part of or come to support her, I was there. Um, and not one thing has she supported me on, not one thing, not one thing. Have you seen her support or advocate anything for me? So no. people, the people out there, you guys can see. Like, people aren't stupid. So, no, they're not. Right. No, it's, it's, yeah. It's, I could talk about this particular topic just in the larger scale for hours. I think it's such a, it's a strange dynamic. It's a strange, I've seen it so many times. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, not even, I mean, Anini's in it like 12 seasons, but yeah. It's almost like you just, nothing else in life matters except the show. It's so strange, which is not, yeah. you would think what's going on in the world now mm -hmm. would be the opposite. It'd be like, mm -hmm. Yvonne is a good friend. This is like a real life friend. Yeah. I need to go earn my living, but that has nothing to do with throwing her under the bus. Right, exactly. And treating her like shit. Yeah. No, so. I've seen it before. I, you know, listen, I'm friendly with lots of, the housewives on these shows too. And I, just to your point, I did a test once where I was with someone. We don't need to mention any names for, okay. like, 48, <laughs> for like 48 hours. And I'm like, I am going to do a test and I am going to see if I am asked one fucking question about myself, <laughs> about anything. How are you? What is going on in your, and I'm like, okay, we're like on the 47th hour here. Wow. <laughs> we got one hour left. So right. I, I, I think, I mean, I don't know if that's what's going on here, but I've seen it so many times. And like, mm -hmm. I've been in it where it's like, oh my God, like this is all about you. Listen, it could be all about you yeah. a lot and, of the time, but not all. Yeah. The time. And, 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 you know, she's admitted this. She's like, at the end of the day, it's for a check. 
you know, so can I blame her? Just, just, it's just, I, I just would rather you be transparent up front and just be like, look, at the end of the day, we're not really cool. This is what it is. And just so I know what it is. So I don't get my emotions involved, you know? Totally. Like but, if she had come um, to you and said, like, I need you to be on. I don't have anyone. This is how the season's going to play out. Let's keep it light. You might yeah. have been okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, cool. So this is, this is what it is. I, I, I accept that. All right, cool. But yeah. That's that. Well, maybe she will reach out to you soon. We'll see. I mean, how are you with everyone else? Like, how are you with, like, Cynthia, Candy? Like, do you have any relationship with them? Or <laughs> Sorry. Hey, okay. hey, guys. They're coming in from outside. Yeah. Is it, is it warm enough there that you can have? No, is it's it warm actually, enough? It's about to no, it's like it's about to rain right now. Like it's all like cloudy outside. But um the temperature is great though. It's like 68, 70, 70, 70. It's freezing in New York City. Not that I've been outside, but Really? Oh, it's it's I have my heat on like full blast. A what? Yes. It's really cold here. It's is really it a cold. cold front just like the past couple of days or it's been cold? Like the past week has been like oh, okay. three days ago, the wind, it was like it was January. What? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Oh wow! Yeah, you gotta come to Georgia to get some of this sun. It was really pretty yesterday. I believe yeah. that. <laughs> I okay. That. Um. So no. Yeah. No. Um. You know. It's and this is the crazy part about this whole situation. So considering that all of this, you know, um, it was surrounded uh, 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 about Cynthia. Her and I are cool. I don't really have an issue with candy. You know, I like candy. Um. Like I said, me and Eve are cool. I don't really talk to Kenya, um, but don't have an issue with her. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, so I'm saying I, I don't have any ill feelings towards anybody. I just want to be able to clear things up. Uh, you know, like I said, the, the ladies already heard what I have had to say, but the world needs to hear it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're good with most of the ladies, if not all, but, like, the world has. And, I mean, yeah. I don't know yeah. why the world thinks, like, do you think the world thinks you are more of the snake than, like, anyone else? Like Absolutely. Than... Yeah, absolutely. That's do a you fact. you really feel this has just been hung on you? If you Google my name, that's all that's there. Yeah. And I'm like, that's crazy. So, yeah, absolutely the world believes that. Right. And that's why reunion or not, you should have the right to clarify that. Absolutely. It's my name. It's my reputation. Yeah. Absolutely, I should. I mean, especially if things between you and Cynthia are good. I mean, that's the whole person. This that's is what I'm person. saying. Right. <laughs> right. If she's okay, then the rest of the world should be okay. Yeah. Seriously. All all for something that doesn't even exist, that no one's ever even heard. And the person's not even upset with you. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> well, yeah. what, what you really should do is you should have, <laughs> if you're going to announce this in some format, you should have Cynthia, if she will, do it with you. That will shut people up. See, I'm here on your side, Yavana. That's a, that's a great, <laughs> that's a great, great idea. And I it doesn't have to be you. here. I'll still love you dearly. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, with her co-sign, it's like, all right, cool. She's even over it. Like Seriously. you didn't you didn't see her watch what happens live last week, what she said to Andy when Andy asked her what he asked her. Yeah, but I don't remember. I mean, I I what what That's happened? What I'm saying. Well, well, I guess uh, so Andy asked, uh, what did he say? He was like, um, oh, if you are during quarantine, if you were trapped in an elevator with um uh Yovana or Kim Zolciak, who would you pick? She was like Yovana. So clearly yeah. it's okay. Yeah. And you know, you know what? And um, I think, should I say this? Yes. You're amongst friends here, Ivana. Um, she might have an issue with her also, you know, not really showing that she doesn't have an issue with me anymore. She might not like that either. That could be why I'm getting this energy as well. Who? You mean Nini? Think about that for a second. 
Wait, say it again, because now I'm confused. So, like I said, it's the relationship has been weird the past couple of, you know, uh, weeks, months. She might have an issue with the fact that Cynthia and I are okay. That she, I, the issue could be that because everybody is still kind of cool and okay with me. And that wasn't the plan. Right. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Do you, you see where I'm going? Yeah, from? yeah. You know? Like, she has an issue with Cynthia. And, I mean, I guess, like, for lack of a better phrase, like, misery loves company, and it would probably be better if you had an issue with Cynthia if she did. But you don't. Right. I just thought of that just now in that moment when we talked about, when, when you asked me about her. So, yeah. I don't know. Well, well, now I thought of something else. Like, do you think because Nini came in, like, with nobody kind of this season, that it would be, in her mind, great if everyone now hated someone else instead of her and that someone was you? I mean, I just... Bingo. Bingo. You just... That's it. That's it. Absolutely. I mean, like I said, once she was cool with everybody, it was like, okay, I don't need you no more, bye. Like, I'm not associated with you anymore. Mm -mm. I'm trying to stay on the good side. Absolutely. Right. And and to take it to the next level, we have somebody else now that we don't like, and it's not me. And it's Yovana, and I'm on the show, and she's not, and bye. Correct. 100%. Wow. And that didn't take you that long to figure out either. No, it just took me like 40 minutes, but <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing it in real time. It just, that just, yeah, wow. Mm-hmm. It didn't happen mm-hmm. during my live last night when I was watching you. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, okay. So then I could see why you'd be really upset. I mean, not that I couldn't before, but that's a mm-hmm. lot. Yeah, because that's where I mean the whole used part. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no one's doormat. No. Yeah, that's... And how are you with Portia, then? If she's kind of one of the main instigators of this whole thing in that hotel room. And, and see, this is the thing. Um, I, I, don't, I don't have an issue with Portia. Actually, I, I like Portia. We, they were, we had some fun moments in Canada before all that crazy stuff. Um, you know, moments where we were going back and forth between each other's like, you know, hotel room, like drinking and like just messing around. And like, you know, I feel like we were starting to have a little, a little bit of a connection and then that happened. And so I said what I said out of anger and I did, I have apologized to her, um, for the words that I used because yeah, I didn't have to go that far. Um, and, and she didn't accept my apology, but I gave it to her. Uh, but Hey, at least I, I, I told her. That I, that I was sorry. I didn't mean to involve her family in it. So, um, yeah, no. I, um, because I, I don't have an issue with her. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm over it. I just don't know um, if she feels the same. Interesting. So it's really like you're on good terms. What about Marlo? I don't, I don't talk to Marlo. Do you think she was a big instigator on the whole thing too? Um, and like, you know what people say, like Marlo is Nini's lapdog, so to speak. I mean, that's what people say. I feel like she just does what it, what she needs to do to make sure she's in a good space with everybody so she can keep coming back. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just, I haven't really spent time with her, hung out with her to, to really just say much about her. So, yeah. That makes sense. And then like in, in your real life, I mean, in Atlanta now... Does this spill over? Like, we see the comments online. You know, mm-hmm. everyone has something to say. Like, when you're walking around and going to the store, I mean, okay, you're not leaving your house now. But before <laughs> this, I mean, see, maybe this quarantine is actually helping you because you're, yeah. I mean, but like, were, were, was it like so that you were going at the store and people are like, that's her, that's her? I mean, did, was that happening or not necessarily? Um, well, yeah, I mean, but when people, yeah, I guess a little bit, you know, a little, the people recognize who I am. Yeah. Yeah. 
but no one's ever like nasty. No one ever says anything nasty. Like the things that they say online to me, oh no, they've never said to my face. They'll just like, oh, you're out of that bitch or something like that. But no, no one has ever been disrespectful in person to me. I find that, yeah, because that's how it works. These internet trolls like can sit yeah. there in a basement and say everything. And then when they're face to face to you, they kiss your ass and they want Absolutely. a picture. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I, I've been there. Trust me. I've been there. <laughs> like, yeah. are you the same person that just said this online to me? Because I think you are. Right. So here yeah. you go. No, I wish, I wish somebody would. Hmm. Right. <laughs> and yeah. on a lighter note, I saw. So when were you on Bridezilla's and say yes to the dress? You were on <laughs> yes. So See, uh, I'm not just about the drama over here. Good. Yvonne. Yes. Yes. Now that my eyes have dried. Um, so Sorry yeah. <laughs> you know it's okay. You know it's great. I can't even believe that that tears came out of my eyes. I've never even. Cr- I never got emotional about that until this moment when you and I, 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 I chat. Maybe it was a lot of built up emotions that just finally came out with you. You just got some good stuff. Oh my gosh. It's because you feel comfortable with me. Uh, clearly I do. Clearly I do. Um, but yeah, so uh, 2013 is when I got married, but 2012, I was hunting for my wedding dress. So I did um, a TLC Say Yes to the Dress in New York out there at the Kleinfeld out there. And then um, like a couple months later, like I said, I guess producers uh, from Bridezilla's reached out and, you know, they had saw the show and they wanted me to do uh, Bridezilla. So I did a, a two episode part and we had like the most expensive wedding in Bridezilla's history. We got married on Star Island. My husband came in on a helicopter. Like, oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. It was a show. Yes. That's was, nice. Was, yeah. It was the wedding of my dreams. And you must have had fun doing those shows, right? Oh, I had a blast. My family members, they didn't, but I did. <laughs> Why? Because they had a film and Pete, they were like, go over here, or go over there. Oh, yeah. No, my, well, my girlfriends who had filmed the, the TLC Say Yes to the Dress with me, they refused. They were like, no, we don't like the way you talk to us, the way you treat. I'm like, it's a freaking show. What are you talking about? They're like, no. So they refused to do Bridezilla. So I had to use my family members, my sisters <laughs> uh, for that one. And then my husband, of course, yeah. That's good. And what are you doing? What are your plans for like after quarantine? Do you have any big plans? No big plans. I just want to get out with my friends. Like I'm, I'm such a foodie and I love to do brunch and stuff like that. And so I just can't wait to just to get out and, and mingle and just be social again. Tell me you about know? it. Yeah. I can I'm only like- live so much. <laughs> I've done more lives than I've ever done in my life. <laughs> me too (laughs) you and I will have to do one together it won't be we don't it's we don't it's not we're not going to rehash all this it'll be like a fun live I've done it with other housewives just to like to say I'm fucking bored and I (laughs) they're fun they're really fun they're they're really fun but I didn't even have you joined TikTok yet I have. I have. I have. Oh my I gosh. Most it. of the videos that I post, I'm singing. People think that it's really me. I'm like, I, I can only tell you guys so so much that it's not me singing. But people think I can sing, David. I love TikTok. I'm obsessed. I ha- Why is it? Okay. I have to. It's like, this has been on my quarantine agenda. I, I tried it. I couldn't figure out how to do it. What? I have to. It's like, I went to play. I don't want to dance. I don't need to dance. I want to do sing? like the. I want. I, I want to do the lip things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I went to like press a song and then I went to do a video. And like when I left the song to do the video, it like, I couldn't do both at the same time. I have to Google how to do it. You have, no, it's very simple. You just have to save it. Just hit save sound. Once you hit save sound, it has like a little Uh library of all the things you've saved. And then when you go to to the me part, just go to the, uh, the area where you, you pick your song. It's so simple, David. Simple. Okay. I'm going to do it. I even have my coming out quarantine song. (laughs) <laughs> it's, it's, I have, like, I'm like, I have the perfect song to welcome myself. It's all about the quarantine. Like, I'm, I, I'm ready. Oh, I my gosh. Oh, uh, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. That'll be fun, though. Yeah, no, TikTok is, it's, 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 it's saving us during these times. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, I'm trying to use my time in quarantine wisely. I feel mm-hmm. like... I want to come out of this like having done something. Like I've been doing a yeah. lot of shows. Like I, mm-hmm. I want to come out and be like, that wasn't so horrible. Yeah, wasn't so bad. You know. Mm-hmm. 
Well, you're going to definitely have to let me know. I mean, is there anything else? Well, also, when this is over, mm -hmm. I'm coming to Atlanta just in general. So we're going to have to. We will definitely link for some cock. Like cock or cocktails. I know you're a married woman, so. <laughs> I said cocktails. <laughs> you can show me around. I will. We'll I'll take you to my cocktails. favorite spots. <laughs> what is your drink of choice? Do you have a drink so of choice? Yes, I love a um. What is it called? A what is it? Not a um. It's a Lynch. Not a Lynch teeny. It's a um. A lychee oh, teeny. A le oh, gosh. That's and I favorite. put like five, six of them in them. I have my bartender put them. And my favorite place is Port Calvin. So I'm gonna take you to Port Calvin's when you come. Okay. And I mean, yeah. I'm really coming. I'm when? When? Well, I was planning on July. If oh. that happens, I'm not so sure. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. Yes, yeah. yes. We're gonna we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that they're gonna open the country at least by July. We need some sort of summer, David. Something, right? Yeah. If not, though, I'll come after. Like I'm in no. It's fine. Rush. Well, then, when you come, you and I are going on a date. There are drinks. Yes, yes. We'll get toasty. You can bring your husband if you want. If not, it could just be us girls. No, he ain't coming. It's just me okay. and you. Because okay? he okay. says I get too crazy. He says I embarrass him. So, no, we'll keep him at home. We'll so take we can really over. have fun. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah, we will. We'll take over. <laughs> Is there anything yeah. else, like, before we wrap up that you want to leave people with? I'm giving you this platform to say, like, what do you want to leave people with? I want to leave people with, um, at the end of the day, it's a television show. Um, a lot of editing goes behind what you see. Uh, the person that, that, that is being reflected, that's not necessarily who they are. So when you, if you think you know a person, think again. Um, like I said earlier, I'm grateful for social media because people who follow me and people who meet me afterwards are like, you know what? You are so not what you are, have been portrayed to be. So, um, I just want people to just not to, not to buy into that. And until you get to hear me say the last word, then make your, uh, your assessment of that person. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's what I'd like to leave. That makes sense. And like, you know, you don't know someone until you actually meet them and, or talk and know them. So yeah, I'm a, I'm yeah. a big proponent of like, if you do everyone wrong, I mean, not you in particular, I mm -hmm. still take you at face value because we're good and we're here. So mm -hmm. to exactly. your point, hopefully people will understand that. Now, where can we find you online if people want to follow you. you? Yes. So you guys can follow me on Instagram at Yovana Monplaisir. Um, if you know, if you don't know how to spell it, I don't know if you'll have it typed up there, but it's Y-O-V-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, uh, last name M O M. P L A I S I R, my YouTube channel, of course. I would love for you guys to subscribe to that. I'm trying to do the YouTube thing. Um, my foundation, Stop the Traffic Global, on Instagram. And uh, of course, my uh, clothing boutique, Mon Plaisir by Yovana. And my website, oh, there's so many places, Yovana Monplaisir.com. And everyone should follow you. I'm going to DM you. We'll keep in touch. We'll figure out a live. We'll do a live. We'll do like drinks and stuff. Yes. Yes. Right? Let's, let's plan it uh, maybe at the end of the week or something. Yeah. We, I, would... I've been meaning to do the live thing at least once a week. So yeah. Me too. And I'm lagging. So we'll do it like, yeah, at the end of next week, we'll, we'll pick a time when we could have drinks. Okay. Sounds good, David. I love it. Hopefully you had fun. I did. I did. Okay. I did. Hopefully you um, feel like. Uh, yeah, I, I'm glad. I, I I feel like I got to get some stuff off my chest. Um, and who better than to give and de divulge all that info to than David. So, yeah. I really appreciate it. I know you're busy. I appreciate you taking your time. And I will DM you at the end of this week. We'll do our live. Okay. Sounds good, David. Oh, wait, you know what? Wait, before you go, I just realized I need to do a screenshot of us. Oh, my God. I almost forgot. Okay. okay. Just like, yeah, like that. Wait, I'm going to do another one. Okay. Are you at my neck? Oh, uh, wait. Yeah. I don't know why it's not working. I think because you're on a phone, but hold on. If that didn't work. Okay, wait, hold on. I'll just go like this instead. Okay. I'm like so stupid. I almost forgot like the main thing I was supposed to do here. <laughs> just stay like that. I think because you're on a phone, it's like smaller. Uh, but wait, this is what yeah. I'm going to do. Oh, because it's too believe tiny. Not, this works. No, but this actually is coming out good, believe it or not. Just go is like it? this. It looks stupid, but it won't when it's in motion. Hold on. Okay. 
That's awesome. I really appreciate it. I'll DM you later. Okay. Sounds good, David. Love you. Bye-bye, sweetie. Love you too, hon. Okay. Bye. Bye.